Jimmy Spencer in a 26. He runs the bottom groove in one and two, which is always normally the fast way around one and two, but he's definitely in that high groove when they go through three and four. And he sails that thing off into the third turn, man. I mean, he's going in there probably 10 car lengths further than anybody else. This time he tries to keep him down around the bottom because he's losing a lot of time up high down there in three and four. Sterling Marlin up for sixth, just passing Andy Houston. The high line works really good when the tires go away just a little bit, but when you got fresh rubber on there, you need to try to hang it around the bottom as best you can. Ricky Rudd still deep in the field, 16th. Tough sledding. There's Bodine, and there's the gap back to Presley, Spencer, Mike Wallace, and Mike Skinner. Skinner 31, battling Wallace for fourth, and Marlin is right there. Mike Wallace really fighting those left side tires. Oh, there. yeah. Yeah, he's giving up a lot of grip. That wasn't a bad call for that team. I mean, take your best shot, and that was their best shot, but uh, it's not paying off for him. Absolutely. Todd is just pulling away. Looks like he's uh, just a little bit quicker than the rest of the guys. Spencer is actually about the second quickest car on the racetrack. Sterling Marlin to the outside of Mike Skinner. Little bit of a love tap there. I'm here. I want to position. Looks like Sterling and him adjusted on his car a little bit. Whoa! They get together! And Mike Skinner saves it! Wow! Now there, that was irresistible force and immovable object. Two of the hardest driving fellows in this whole garage area. Well, that started back here off the of turn four, and uh, Skinner retaliated ever so slightly and almost paid the price. I think that's the reason our camera group stayed with him. <laughs> I think it might be. Well, it got Marlin up to fifth, but Todd Bodine is 1.1 seconds out ahead of the field. Yeah, he's uh, he's got this thing pretty much in the bag. <laughs> Of course, he could could be a Ryan Newman thing all over at 10. Now, watch this. Here's, here's what started this whole little episode. This is down the front stretch, coming off turn four. So thank you very much. I didn't appreciate that. And oh, by the way, here's just a little bit of a reminder that I didn't like it. We are very lucky we are not under caution. Yes, we are. Skinner's loss of momentum dropped him back to 13th while Marlin continues in fifth. But the only position here that matters is right up where the old blue light special's running. First, it's advance or go home. Got a clean racetrack in front of him. Three laps to go this time by. And nobody closing. Trouble turn four. Is that Marlin? It is Very early. slow at the top of the racetrack. I, I think he probably got a tire going down. Uh, got one tower, one tower, one tower. Got a tire clear, down. Clear, he can't get the pit away. road. Probably a tire going down from the little bump together a while ago with Mike Skinner. That would be my guess. Could not get the pit road. A one and a half second lead for Todd Bodine. And a very stiff wind coming across the racetrack from turn one in the direction that that storm is approaching. Well, I tell you one thing, Ricky Rudd has passed more race cars in these oh, short yeah. races than anybody else tonight, that's for sure. He's up to eighth. He's up to eighth place and still just picking them off when he gets to them. You can see the flags there standing straight out. That wind is picking up. The weather is getting closer. Sterling Marlin going down the back stretch, still trying to get to pit road. Pretty much his night is over. Yeah, he couldn't get down on account of the traffic, and by the time he could, it passed pit road entrance. Only traffic he'll have to worry about now is out of the parking lot because Todd Bodine is a lap away from advancing into the all-star race. Of course, we said that of Ryan Newman. Yeah. I'd, I'd be surprised if he didn't make it back this time. Spencer looks like he's going to try to get up there and get around the 77 on the last lap. Bragging rights. Bodine. As uh, Marlin goes to the garage, Todd Bodine comes off turn four. Here comes Spencer up on the outside. And Spencer will get second from Presley as Todd Bodine wins the no bull sprint thirty thousand dollars and a transfer into the Winston good for him that team has been needing something like that and uh, it's good for them a one two finish for Travis Carter with Bodine and Jimmy Spencer Bodine won the Winston Open in 1995 but finished 17th in the Winston his only appearance.
Lots more to come on Stock Car Racing's All-Star Night. You're watching the Winston on FX. Sterling Marlin has climbed from his car discussing things with NASCAR Steve Peterson and walking by Mike Skinner's car. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, I'll see you next week, old buddy. I don't uh -huh. think he was saying good job. No, I don't either. I think it was like, uh, yeah. Well, Todd Bodine will advance. Matt is with him. And he's just talking things over about what to do to this race car for the big show, the $500,000 to win. So what are you going to do? Uh, lower the track bar another quarter. Uh, that was the major thing we did right there in that segment and that pit stop. Uh, we've had a problem all through test and all through practice, getting some good grip up off the corner. We've been messing with the rear shocks, messing, just couldn't get it. I said, to heck with it, let's try something we didn't try. We lowered the track bar down, did some air pressure adjustments, the car took off, it was pretty good. It actually got a little loose at the end of that segment, so 16 laps, it went loose, that's not a good thing, so we're gonna adjust it a little more. You hurt your back this morning, how is your back? Uh, it's a little sore, in a race car, it's great. You don't, I mean, when you're strapped in that tight in a seat that's meant for you, you don't feel a thing, but, uh, Got the tens to unit here, and I'm tough. I can hang out. He's tough. He's a short track racer. Well, we'll get him strapped back in there. That's the best medicine, and he's going to strap back in for the Winston. He is one of two drivers to advance into the Winston. Here's our Pontiac winning moment. It's the smoke from that Ford that allowed Johnny Benson to capitalize on what was then second place. That's a heartbreaker. Pontiac Grand Prix congratulates Benson and the wide track attack team wider is better from the noble sprint there is the payout so the drivers who go home now won't go home empty-handed look at our fourth place finisher what a great job bobby hamilton jr flew up to nazareth pennsylvania qualified the top five for the bush grand national race tomorrow and uh, finishes fourth here tonight ricky rudd come in there <laughs> great job and hopefully all of these teams uh, gain some time at night here on the Speedway that will be valuable to them next week when we return for the Coke 600. Good test session. A couple of battered cars there. Buckshot Jones. That car may go back to the shop or it may just take a sharp left off the back stretch. Heavy hit. Landfill. Hard, hard hit. Stock Car Racing's All-Star Night continues. Lots of fun and surprises for you coming up at the Winston on FX.